As the 34th African Cup of Nations commences in Ivory Coast, Nigeria's Super Eagles cheer up for their campaign amidst mixed sentiment among the Nigerian fans. While a significant portion of Nigerians remained indifferent, unconcerned about the potential outcome of Nigeria's AFCO 2023 journey, a marginal population owes optimism for the team's performance in the tournament. The Super Eagles are a very interesting kettle of fish. Um, we really don't know what to expect from this team. We know we have quality enough to rival anybody in Africa and even the rest of the world. But the question remains, will the team turn up? If you look at uh, the antecedents of the team, they normally perform when you least expect them, expected them to, to do so. So I believe the Super Eagles will go for and do well in this competition. For me, uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria, I don't think they are favorites. Well, they would make a mark. Uh, maybe get to the semi-finals or quarter-finals. After a challenging qualification phase, the Super Eagles of Nigeria engaged in five preparatory matches, including a 2 hard draw against Saudi Arabia, a thrilling 3-2 win over Mozambique, a one hard draw against Lesotho in Uyo, and a one hard draw against Zimbabwe. However, they faced a setback succumbing to a 2 0 defeat to Afghan gaining national team. The team's recent performance has left many doubting their capability, raising concerns about their readiness for their first game of the tournament against Equatorial Guinea. Firstly, um, every Nigerian will expect um, the Super Eagles to win, uh, con con considering the fact that um, had, uh, we, we have um, our best players in camp, where they are coming from, stars in their own rights. I don't want our team to, rec uh, to underrate the team. Because anything can happen. By now, I, I, I'm expecting that the opponent must have fortified their team. With a decade having passed since Nigeria last Afghan triumph, the horde has stacked against the Super Eagles of Nigeria, particularly with latest injury to key players, adding to the challenges. They, I mean, we just saw what happened to the squad, injuries and everything. So I'll just say at the moment, let's just see what happens. If they do it, then it's going to be shocking. Uh, because, of course, we've seen what they've done over the years. They nearly struggle to come out of the group. When they come out of the group, round of 16 seems to be an issue with them. The only drawback for me personally is that I, my, I do not have total trust in the technical team. But aside from that, the players and the team will go the distance at this semi-final. I, I see us still doing well at, at the Nations Cup because of the pool of players we have right now. But I think early preparations and... Uh, uh, not changing managers like we always do when it's close to tournament will really help this time around. So despite the skepticism surrounding the team, the responsibility now lies on the shoulders of chief coach Josip Pesero and his coaching staff to showcase their ability to overcome the unexpected and break the 10-year trophy drought. The nation awaits eagerly to see if the Super Eagles can defy expectations and make their mark in the prestigious tournament again. Shei Alao, OGTV News.